Hi, I'm Scott Tuckfield, and this is the first lesson on how to play your cigar box guitar. Now, the first thing you want to do before you play any guitar is tune up. And with this three string guitar, we're going to be using an open G tuning today. So, the lowest of the three strings, the lowest in pitch, we're going to tune to a G, the middle string to D, and the top string to G, an octave higher. And that'll give us a really nice open root 5 root chord wherever we go. So now, the cigar box guitar really shines with the slide. It works really nicely with fingering on the fretboard, just like any other thing, any other guitar, but you can tell it has more of a muted, plucky sound, whereas the slide gives it that really vibrant, bright sound. So let's talk about some slide technique. First of all, let's look at the right hand. The right hand, we're going to be using a finger picking technique because that'll give us more control over which strings are ringing out and which ones aren't. If we just use a pick or strum all the strings at once, we'll get often a lot of strings resonating that we don't necessarily want to resonate. But with the three string, it's pretty easy to do finger picking. So lightly rest the thumb on the first string here, the index finger on the second string, and the middle finger on the third string. One, two, three. And that way we'll have independent control If I just if I just want to use, for example, that middle D string, I can easily pluck it without accidentally striking the G strings. And any combination thereof. And it'll also give us that really nice plucky bluegrassy sound that cigar box guitar really wants to sound like. So it may seem awkward at first, but practice this hand position as you start playing. You can also use a pick with your right hand. Be cautious that it'll be a lot trickier to mute those strings and get just the one string in the way that the finger picking is gonna is gonna give you. It's possible you can use a combination of pick and finger like I'm doing here. I'm holding the pick with my first finger and thumb and using my other two fingers I like a pick, it gives that it's, I find it easier when holding a pick I want to avoid just gripping it kind of like this you don't have a very good grip on it that way. You're liable to to drop it if you hit the string hard enough. So the way I was taught to use a pick, you kind of line the pick up perpendicular to the top section of your index finger like that. And then come in with the thumb and grip over the top of that longer section and that's going to give you a whole lot more friction and you'll be really hard pressed 
be really hard pressed to drop in that way. Now the left hand, the one holding the slide, the slide is going to go on your third finger, your ring finger there. That'll give you the most control. The slide is pushed down about to the knuckle. Try to avoid the slide resting so far down on your finger that it forces you to straighten your fingers like that. That'll really make the whole thing an awkward process for you. So, nice and right about the, the knuckle on the finger so your fingers can still be relaxed and bent. My thumb is on the middle of the neck and the back of the neck just like when playing any other guitar. The slide is being slightly gripped, just slightly, by my middle finger and my pinky here, second and fourth fingers. And it's fine without it, but this way will give us a lot more stability, a lot more control. Um, and to that same end, my first and second fingers here are lightly grazing along the strings as I slide up and down the neck. I'm not floating above the strings with all my fingers. Just my first and second ones are lightly grazing the strings to give a little more friction, a little more purchase on the strings, and that'll make, that'll make the slide a lot easier to control. The pinky, the fourth finger here, is still gripping the slide, but is floating off the string. Obviously, if we had it resting on the string, we would get a bunch of that muty nonsense. So, gripping the slide to kind of help us control and with the uh, fourth and the second fingers and lightly grazing along the strings with the first and second fingers. That'll make things a lot easier to control. An important part about playing with a slide and playing with a fretless instrument is that instead of pressing down here in between these fret markers like we would if the fret if the actual frets were in place, we need to line up our slide exactly on top of that fret marker. That's what's going to give us the right pitch and that's how we're going to have to that's how to mathematically divide up the string since the fret isn't there to do it for us to produce the correct pitch. So when playing with the slide, remember, line it up with the fret line right on top of it. A trick that's going to come in really handy with this slide technique is the vibrato. <laughs> And that, throwing that in here and there is going to give you a lot of flair and style and it'll make whatever you're playing a lot more expressive to be able to add that little bit of vibrato and key points of a phrase will add a lot to a melody. The way to do that, all I'm doing is just dragging the slide up and down the string slightly and I'm doing it in such a way that the fret line that I'm directly on top of directly over the fret line I'm making that the average the middle point for my for my up and down motion up and down the string so that the the average pitch is the correct pitch so going a little above in pitch and a little below really fast. And that'll give a lot of style and a lot of expressiveness to what you're playing.